Let's take some calls. K. Eugene, Oregon. Jim, line four. Go ahead, please. Hello, Dr. Savage. Wow, I was almost afraid I'd be on next after her, and I was. <laughs> But I take quite the opposite view. But the reason I called, actually, was because you asked a question, and the person of which you asked that question earlier was name was Jonathan Pollard, I believe. Yes, and you win a free copy of Trump's War the day it comes out, his battle for America. Right, and I was, I was against uh, uh, giving Jonathan Pollard a commutation. You know that, don't you? Yeah. But, yeah. So what I'm saying is, I'm saying is, why is it that a Puerto Rican head of a city council in New York cheers the release of a Puerto Rican terrorist from prison who killed people simply because of her ethnicity, it looks like to me? And then I'm saying we got to get past this tribalism. And I gave an example of someone of my ethnic background, Pollard, who I totally opposed the release of as an example. I don't say, oh, because he's Jewish, I want to see him released. I think he was a spy who should have remained in jail for life, by the way. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. He was unapologetic when he went into trial, when he went into jail, when they allowed the interview on, I think it was 60 Minutes or one of those. Right, he stole classified data while working in the U.S. government and gave it to Israel. And that means that he, commi he committed a grave crime, and he shouldn't have been released. Yeah. Where is he today, by the way? I believe he's in Israel. I think they turned him loose, and uh, under the agreement, he'd go to Israel and not come back into the United States. And what could he be doing there? Is he living on welfare? What could he do for them? Uh, maybe he's uh, running. Or maybe he's running like running a matzo bakery somewhere in Tel Aviv. Or he could be maybe. running a computer he, system to tap into ours. I don't know. There you go. He could be spying. He run uh, Pollard's matzo shop somewhere. Look, the world's a dangerous place. There are spies everywhere. And when they get caught, frankly, I think depending upon the level of spying, the punishment should be swift and long. It's that simple. Thank you for the call.